Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Yes, we are back here in Beaver Town, and we have problems still. Um, and I must apologize for not having an episode out last week. Uh, I'm actually now working on a new computer, so that took some time to get all set up. So that was my priority, so my apologies, but we are back, and... I think the, the beavers are happy we're back, too. Uh, they got a little break, but we have to get them to work. This, and speaking of working, this water wheel has not been working since we installed this dam and levee. So we're going to try a few things to make that work. But to start with, we're going to come and we're actually going to make sure we have enough uh, beaver power. So we will come in and do a few things. So we are going to have to come in and... Demolish some resources. Uh, I think it's just these two here. Uh, we're going to cut in and we are going to put another uh, power wheel, beaver power. So if we look here, we do need that space. And I need to get that path moved, but I want to make sure we have pathing all the way around. So before we actually put that in, we will remove uh, that lumber there. Now, the other things were, and the main objective today in this episode, and we'll see whether we can get up here. I do want to dam this and, well, I guess technically put a floodgate. I think I was calling it a levee last episode. So that is definitely one of our goals. So let's get to daytime as well so we get things flowing. So we're going to try to get our path network up here so we can build. All right. We'll slow things down because we want to make sure we get this power wheel built as soon as we can. Uh, and the other thing is we are going to try and this is going to. We're going to try to manipulate the water again. So we have, uh, you know, this dam here letting some water through. But I also think we're losing some water flow. Uh, because we got water coming into this little cove area. So I think if we build a levee here, do a small little dam instead, we'll be able to get uh, more water flowing through to hopefully push this water wheel. And as well, we are going to remove these pumps, which I think I was uh, mistakenly calling them uh, tanks, but so, no. So we have one pump there, another pump being built here. But we will also work towards replacing these water tanks. And that is because if we come have a look here, you'll see these small water tanks have a capacity of 30. But if we can build a large water tank, that's 300. So one water, uh, one large water tank will replace 10. And we have only basically five operating uh, water tanks. So... That's another thing for today, so we will actually, I think, stop building this. So let's come in and demolish this building before anything more gets built there. And we have that removed. Perfect. So we can come in and remove our path network. So we'll come in and we will add a new path there. There we go. That should work. Beaver power to the rescue. And we're on the right side. Perfect. Well, you know what's funny? I probably could have just done that right there. And connected direct. Ah, oh, silly, silly me. But it's done. So we will... We'll place that there. There we go. And we're going to make this a high priority because we need gears. So let's come in. We'll make that our highest priority that we have going at the moment. And how's our situation? We didn't do a little quick stock at the beginning. We have 18 adults, three little baby beavers. I think they're called kits. We do have uh, three free beds so that uh, we can have three more kids. Uh, and we have some uh, vacancies and unemployment. So we, we definitely need to grow our beaver population as well. So I think that will also be something that will occur and that will just occur naturally. The last thing I mentioned last episode was potentially building a farmhouse. And I think we will. 
think we'll build a farmhouse. Allow us to expand a little further down here. So that will be another objective of ours. So this is going to be a very, very uh, busy episode. Uh, we've already got things started, so let's keep going. So we'll come into our landscaping tools. And we're going to build a levee straight across. And I, I think we can get away with just boxing that in for now, actually. I'm not too worried about leaving uh, space for the water. But hopefully this will push more water um, down and through. And we can also look to potentially do the same thing on this side. So if we come up and have a look, what can we do here? Well, we don't want to build that there because that will completely choke things off. But what if we were to build a tight channel? Well, actually, before we do that, let's let's see what the other things do. We don't want to do too many things at once because we do need to begin to understand how the water dynamics in this game work, which aren't the most clear at times. Now, we will make sure we provide pathing. So then get across. So that works too. What else do we have here? Oh, um, oh, they're just full. Okay, that's fine. A little worried there for a second. Uh, now we do want to get this built. So this is actually another priority so we can turn off the other pumps over here and probably just remove them from the game and see if that also helps uh, fix the water flow. How close is this one? We need logs. We have logs. So that is all good news as well. So let's get things going. We can go a little faster here. So we've got some key things uh, set up. Think as well, let's do a little bit of planning here while the beavers get ready to go to bed. And that is by providing increased housing. So we can provide some housing here. So we have to come into is a path and structures, so we need to build some platforms that will come around. There we go, and we need to make sure we provide pathing. There we go. So that works as well. And we will now make this the next priority. Because there's no point in... Let's make sure we actually got the platform selected. Building the houses if they can't actually reach them. So we're getting close to figuring out how many more houses we will build. We might put a, another gathering place, which is something we do need more of because these beavers, uh, this beaver colony is growing and this can only hold, was it, five visitors? And it's fairly popular at the same time. So. That isn't good. So what else do we have on the go here? Uh, that is paused, and that's because we just don't have enough workers. Where could we employ workers? Okay, that's built. That's awesome. So we're going to come in, and we will now demolish these two water pumps. See if that also helps redirect some of our water flow. Oop, don't do that, although it's tempting. That is not doing what it should. So hopefully this helps. Otherwise, we'll just push more water wheels out as uh, this levee gets built. Speaking of getting built, uh, let's make sure we actually do provide a little path. There we go. How's this going? We need logs. Logs is currently our limiting factor. Not good. Now, one advantage of potentially removing that is we can probably get a large water tank. Let's see how much space this takes up. So we're going to use 120 of our science point. We've got plenty of science. Where could this go? Well, we could put side by side. But maybe we will remove that yeah, here's, here's our plan. We're going to come in. We're going to remove this, uh, here we go, this path.
path. We don't need that path anymore. We're gonna come in and we're gonna build a large water tank right here. And the reason for that water tank, and we will slowly decommission this one, so we're gonna turn this one off as soon as this is built. What does this require? Planks and gears. So all the gears we're manufacturing are gonna to go to this, which is good. But we need this, come on, we need this. It's, it's our highest priority. Uh, which means we probably need to look at how many foresters we have. Oh, it's also just the lack of mature trees. So these are mm, barely halfway there. Same here. So we only have a few trees we can actually harvest. Uh, fudge. Okay, so what else can we do? We can look at... We want to get up here. Oh, can this... Okay, this lumberjack can reach up here. So let's make sure we have all of these trees selected for harvesting. So let's just make sure they're all selected. And that beaver is now hard at work removing uh, those trees, which is giving us a little bit of lumber. The other thing uh, that we should be looking at uh, to make things more efficient, if we come into labor, we could probably use a hauling post. So a hauling post will assist workers within a district in carrying goods, greatly increasing their productivity and strength. So we can come, thought about building one on top here, but we would have to remove a bit of, yeah, let's do it. We can afford to remove a bit of our farmland. So I'm gonna place that there. Uh, path and structures, just put a platform there. We will come in and we will remove our resources there. Uh, and there, I think. So we're gonna have to remove a bit more than I would hope, but that's fine. So there we put a staircase. They come down here. And then turn around. Okay, so we lose four pieces of farmland, which is fine. We can afford it. In fact, one of the things we can do is come in and plant some potatoes in some spots that uh, we have open. There we go. That will more than make up for things. Oh, we have a drought incoming. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, can we uh, expedite this? Let's let's slow things down there for a moment. I think we need to take stock of things. We have in a day. So everybody back to work. We have plenty of food, but our water situation. Ugh. Uh, this is not currently pumping. Oh, because they're sleeping. That makes sense. But not very productive. Oh, I might have made a mistake by removing these. Because I was really hoping uh, that would start pushing this water wheel. And it has not. Oh, no. Um, you can kind of see the water swirling around here. So we might be losing a bit of momentum. Okay. Um, this isn't good. This is not good. Okay, but we do have... These maples are ready to harvest. Okay, that is good news because we need the maples. Give me the maples. So logs are coming. This is our highest priority, but we need the planks. Uh, it's turned off. Oh, no. Don't delete the building. Turn it back on. Okay, how much power is this using? We have 100 uh, beaver power, uh, and we... Currently, uh, this is requiring 50, 50, and 120. We are very much under-resourced on our beaver power. That is not good. 
Hmm. There's not much I think we can truly do about this at this point. Uh, but what we can do is uh, just keep our fingers crossed. We have food. We have some water. We haven't got anywhere near up here yet. That's not good. So let's just speed things along. Uh, there's not much we can do. Uh, we'll just make sure when the drought comes, we will turn off our pumps. We will also turn off uh, any of our lumberjacks, which we'll have to go around and find. And do we have any unemployed beavers? Yes, we do. So what we can do is at least unpause that. And in the morning, we're going to wake up to a drought where we may not make it. Or not all our beavers may make it. All right, so we are now entering the drought. Drought has started. It's going to last five days. So let's go around first and try to find all of our lumberjacks. There's one there. He's off. Already thirsty. Oh, let's let's uh, rest these guys. So he can pause. Barrister buddy, he's got nothing nothing to plant. So maybe as well, I will build some more lumberjacks once this is over. Oh, we have a lumberjack over here. Pause him. And pause this lumberjack. Okay. And now let's come over and pause our pumps. Why are you so thirsty? We, we uh... Please drink water. Water. We do have water. I've turned down your work day. Please drink. Please. We can actually start employing more beavers here uh, as workers. That will be helpful. We do have 53 logs, which is good. Uh, with those removed, we can kind of, kind of, we will come in and we will build our staircase. And we will also now come in and put our pathing in. Oh, we have to wait for that. Okay, so it's not yet removed. Okay. But we won't forget about that path. We'll put that path up there. Beaver's just chilling. Water wheel moving. During the drought. Very interesting. Got this levee being built. But there's not much we can do except keep our fingers crossed. So if you notice, we are keeping our workday short uh, so that our beavers don't get as thirsty. But hopefully we can still get things produced. And push comes to shove, we can turn on uh, the pumps. So we'll just keep an eye on our water. Which so far so good. We're uh, half a day through. So we should be fine. Yeah, should be. We are at two days left of our drought and we only have uh, 12 units of water left. So we are going to turn on uh, one of our pumps. We have no choice because we do not want our beavers to die of thirst. Now for the next drought, this should be built. It's very close. We almost have all the planks we need and we're getting close to all the gears. So it looks like gears are going to take longer than the planks, so we'll turn off one of our lumber mills. So as things get back to work here, we should be in a good position to have all the planks. Because yeah, the gears are just gonna take longer. And as soon as we get the planks, I think what we can do, uh, I don't think there's anything else that's currently requiring planks. I could be wrong. Besides the large water tank. 
I think we're good otherwise. Got a bunch of beavers hanging around, but I've told them that. And what's nice is we're going to have a bunch, a bunch of trees that can be uh, harvested. So actually, let's go find our lumberjack again. Uh, where are the lumberjacks? Here? There we go. So these cost nothing to do. So we are going to put another lumberjack there. And they will soon be built. And we will just make sure he's off. Because we have a large, large uh, forest of maples and whatnot. You know, some birch to, to harvest, which is good. And we should be fine. We are down to a day and a half. And our water level, it was 12 when I turned it on, so it's going up and down. But we have a very short work day. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting nervous again. So we'll turn on the second pump come morning. This is not good. So one day left. We are currently out of water. But we have both our pumps working at the moment. And I think what we could do is eventually put a pump in this little area. We'll have to do a little work. Put a little dam here. Make sure to allow the water in. And as well hold it back when we get to the dry spells. But we could expand it a little further so it holds a lot more water. And ideally creates a larger current coming through. But we'll find out. So far, this is not having the impact I had hoped. But there's still two more levees to build. And we are 0.3 of a day away. Okay, we've made it. We didn't have any beavers die. That is good news. So come morning, we can turn all of our lumberjacks back on. Uh, that one's currently paused because it's got nothing to collect. Drought has ended. We have made it. Awesome news. Okay, our little levee is built. And that has not changed the water flow for this water wheel. Dang it. Hmm. Okay. But you can see it looks like we've got a pretty good flow moving through here. And I really wish... So if we come in our water wheel, which we can just connect a bunch. I really wish it actually showed us how much power we would produce at a given moment at least. Now I think what would be best... Be, how much do these cost? 50 logs. Well, we'll have plenty of logs. Okay. So we are just going to... Try to get as much water flowing through here as possible. And maybe the other thing we're going to do is let's look here. We have the water flowing through here. And I don't think... Oh, well, maybe we get one more in. If we were to build one more water wheel, will that actually fit? The answer is no. Okay. So we're going to come in and we are going to come into our... Landscaping. We are just going to build a levee out. And we will now... Oh, we don't want that top one. Let me come back in and remove it. So this is definitely an experimentation of trying to get the water to go where we want. So let's prioritize these. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. We have power. How much is this one producing? 105. That's awesome. That is good news. So that means we can probably turn on 
Uh, actually, let's return our work day back to 18 hours. But look at that! That's how that thing's supposed to move. Okay, beavers are busy here. Oh, we're out of water. How are we out of water? Oh no. Okay, let's uh, slow things down. Pumps are on. No unemployed beavers. Okay. Um, workplace, high priority. Workplace, high priority. Uh, that is not good. Um, so please, okay. Have water coming in. Okay. Well, this would be disastrous if after the drought. Oh, I lost one. Oh, no. Sorry, dude. My bad. Unconnected building. Oh, we need a path. Okay, let's get a path network up. No. Oh, okay. They built the homes. Before they built these, I guess they have just required logs is my guess. So they'll, they'll work on that. I think we need to find another spot to put a water pump. And I think a good spot would actually be over here. Okay, let's... We will put it here. I'd like to put it there instead. Or maybe here. Oh, let's do it here. I think this, this works better. So we're going to place that there, which means we need to just put a new path. Right there. We can now come in and remove this part of the path network. And we will build a water pump. There we go. And let's make sure this is a high priority. Because we need the water. And this will actually be pretty good. Because we are making a storage area to try to make this flow a little better. Oh yeah, because you can see we've lost. Oh, that was going faster. Oh, dang it. All right. Let's speaking of fast, let's get through a few more days here. I've had the occasional minor success uh, with this, but still not consistent. Uh, but with all this kind of being blocked off, we will have to make sure we do have water coming in. So let's come in and let's demolish. Uh, let's demolish, yeah, this one, and we will come in and build a single dam at this point, and we'll just make sure this is a priority just so that it doesn't cut anything else off. Although we're we're managing, uh, we're at high risk. We're we're we're, you know. We have no water, none, zip, zero. Even though a lot of water here, it's not in it where our beavers need to take the water from. This is terrible, terrible news. So we have some good news. Uh, things are going a little better. Let's slow things down. Uh, oh, whoo, okay. Uh, let's make sure this is connected by a path. I didn't realize the door placement. But this is now connected. So where can it reach? Let's make sure it can reach where our pumps are. Ooh, not very well. Okay, we can fix that. But the good news is our water situation has improved in two ways. We actually have water for our beavers to drink. We have our... 300 uh, unit storage container, which we'll have to fix some pathing issues. But we fixed our power issue. Look at this. We are now producing uh, 454, which means we can turn this on. Although we have no workers, uh, we have more than enough demand. So speaking of workers, so we are going to come in and place a farmhouse that we had thought about doing or discussed doing earlier. Just kind of where does this make the most sense? I think that's fine there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place that there and we will build a path. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sacrifice some of our 
food to ensure our water has quick and direct access. So this now means we need to come in and as soon as that's cleared, we can build a path across and that should make it a lot more efficient for our beavers to get and deliver the water to this large storage tank, which is currently empty. We now have our path clear or a spot to put our path. So this should, yeah, there you go. See, all this is green. Well, it becomes, is that, uh, uh, yeah, no, same color. Well, a little lighter color, but it's green. It's not yellow, it's not red, so we're good. So we should be able to get this filled up with water. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to empty uh, these. We'll turn uh, these ones off. I guess we can just not have it collect water for now until we decide what to do with those. Same thing here. We're going to empty this. And stop the water storage. So we want this one to fill up. That will give us the best amount of water storage. As you can see, 125. So we've come back from the brink. Okay, so we've solved our power issue. Finally. Hurrah! The only thing we're going to come in and do now is we will remove two levees here so that this is 100% connected. There we go. So that also becomes a little storage area for during the droughts because it should not affect our main water supply. Although we could, might still need to turn it off to protect these trees, but we should be okay. All right, so the next thing is, is we do have a drought in 2.3 days already. Wow, okay, uh, they're coming a little faster and we're a little more furious. But let's see if we can at least uh, get up to where we want to put our floodgate. So we're going to have to come into our pathing. We're going to need to build stairs. Okay, we can get up there. That is good news. Uh, and now we're just going to build a path right up. So unfortunately, we're going to need to remove uh, some resources. So come straight across. And I think as well, we're going to have to do a dual staircase. So I think we'll end up doing a turn. And we will put our path here. Actually, it might be quicker to do a path right along the river. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. So we're going to come in and we are going to cancel this. And we will come in and demolish oops, the resources along here. There's far fewer for them to demolish. We will prioritize uh, building this. And I'm hoping we can get up all the way here. That would be good. We'll see if we can get up there. Um, and if we can get up there, I think that's where we'll end the episode, or at least knowing that we can get there. But we've been very successful so far. We fixed our power issue, which is really good. We are producing planks. We have plenty of logs, which is great news as well, which actually, are we at max? Not quite, so that's 180. And we have room uh, room there for, for logs as well. But that is something we're gonna have to keep an eye on. We have 11 vacancies. Oh my goodness, where are all the vacancies? Oh, we finally got this built. So our hauling post is built, which will make uh, our beavers a little more productive in this area. But we just don't have enough beavers to fill. So other than that, we are doing good. Okay, we have two days until the drought. Uh, we do want to prioritize this building by haulers. So as soon as we get haulers, they will do their best to haul the water as quick and as fast as they can. And maybe what we should do is let's remove two workers there. Okay, at least one came there. That's good news. Where else can we turn off and make a 
beaver available. Hmm. We could probably turn off a lumberjack. Uh, because we have plenty of logs at this point. Okay, so can we get a fourth one there? Where else can we uh, find a beaver that isn't too hard at work? Should we look at turning a forester off for now? It's always risky, because uh, trees take so long to grow. Oh, we know what we could do? We've got plenty of science. Let's turn off one of our science buildings. And we'll also see where we can actually benefit from having more science. So while all that's at the go... So we don't need any uh, shafts. Uh, windmills might be good at some point, but we're a ways away from needing that. We're not near any metal. We could start looking at a paper mill or an, and the printing press. But I'm also very interested... Well, this gathers maple syrup. Might need to investigate that. So what do we need? Uh, gathers maple syrup. We have logs, planks, and gears. So we can do that in a wood workshop. That might be something to build. Now, we are going to have to rebuild this area a lot as well. Probably removing uh, our beaver power wheels. Because this is producing fairly good power. Obviously, it's a little lower than before, but we only need 220. So we could build at least two more buildings and we might expand further. But I think we'll move this log pile first before we end up removing these power wheels. And our worker population is doing a little better. We do have some vacancies, though. Where do we have vacancies? Can we easily see the inventor? No unemployed beavers. So that farmhouse that we built has no beavers. Because that's where two of the vacancies are. And it's probably counting these other buildings that are turned off. Okay. Not much we can do here at this point. So we'll close that. And we're getting closer. We can almost get our path through. So we're very close to knowing whether we can get all the way up here. Which would be good. Bring it this way. And then we would put a staircase there. Ah, oh, construction too, si too far. I wonder though. I think what we can do, come to labor. We'll use 100 science to build a builder's hut. And I think what we can do is extend how far these beavers can work. So this is still within the district. In fact, we could come all the way up here. No, that's too far. We could come here, but I might want to leave this area for pumps. So I think what we can do is we will use this space here, I think. So let's remove all of this because we don't need that anyways. And that's where we'll put our builder's hut. So I think we should be able to get up there. But this has been a fairly productive episode. Although we didn't get our floodgate built, we've solved our power issue. Uh, we're getting ready for another drought, which we are in a much better position for our water. And I think we'll have to find another spot for a pump. Because we are a little low on, on water. Hmm. So we'll figure that one out next episode as well. But when we come back, we will be tackling our longest drought, which is probably six days. But we should be able to get up and get our floodgate built. But we have our power. We have all our plank, our lumber mills, and our gear workshop, hard at work. We have our first hauling post, which is good news. We've got plenty of food. 
We'll have plenty of water for our drought. This is filling up and we'll build another one, I think, as well next episode. So with that, I think we'll leave uh, this episode of Beaver Town here. So I very much appreciate you watching. If you have any suggestions as to what I should be looking to build next or where I should be building, please do let me know. I'd very much appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Hit the little notification bell. You know, a like would do, do great wonders as well. So with that, thank you very much. And until next time, bye for now.